Okay, so now we're going to add the tube apart. So this time I'm going to have all the parts happening at the same time. Treble, 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 bass, bass, one sharp, one sharp, two sharps, three sharps. So there's a lot of preliminary work happening when you're writing this by hands. Okay, here's G accent for the tuba. I'm going to start from the bottom. <clears throat> tuba, trombone, horn, trumpet, two, trumpet, one. Okay, there's the G. Here's the trombones. The trombone has a G. Then a D. Tied to a D dotted quarter note. Up to a G again. Which is held to another G quarter. D. Tied to another eighth. Okay. So... We're done with the trombone part for the first two measures. The tuba goes down. You have already written a lot of these out. If you want to continue practicing writing parts out, great. Continue to copy out every part as I move between the parts. So this is definitely a D because a written D for French horn sounds like a G. Remember, it sounds a perfect fifth below the pitch. This sounds like a D because it's an A. And the next is eighth dotted quarter note. So these two beats happen on the, these two notes happen on the same beat, which is why I'm drawing them together. These should be happening in the same beat. These happen in the same beat. This. It's a good idea to make everything line up perfectly. If it doesn't, that's okay. Your musicians who are playing for you will realize what you mean. But it's always good to try. Um, this happens after the second beat, and it's tied to this beat. And then this plays at the same time as that eighth note. Let's make this look a little cleaner. Okay, if you are doing this by hand, I hope you're using pencil, because there may be a few mistakes. This is a G in a G. We know because we know the trumpet is pitched a major second below pitch. Okay. Now this will be so beautiful. This is a D and a D. Easy. Trumpet one has it very easy. Okay, we need to add our accents and our dynamics. Forte, 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 forte. Accents. Very dramatic. All the instruments are being very dramatic. So let's get our keyboard and figure out what, how this is going to sound. So you should get your keyboard ready and we're going to play through everything from the bass to the top. The bass tuba part, which is G. You can't see, but I'm playing the G. I'll move it up so you can see. Okay, trombone also has a G, but it's the same register, so I'll keep this here. The horn has a G. Trumpets have a G and a D. So this is just... Here's beat one. Okay, beat two, the, the tuba and the first trumpet, they hold their notes. The second trumpet is still holding the G. However, the horn moves on beat two, and so does the trombone. What do the horn and the trombone have? They have a D. Okay. Then the trumpet two plays a G, and the horn also has a G, and the trombone. So has, this is the horn. The trombone is holding this D. The trumpet two has a B and then a C sharp. And then we move on to the tonality of the next measure, which is a G again in the tuba. G in the trombone. And 
the horn has a G. The second trumpet is holding this, but it's moving right away to um, back to the D, C sharp D, and your right, your first trumpet is holding the D. So the second trumpet is the one with a really interesting melody going back and forth between the B, C sharp D, which is really leading tones pointing towards the fifth of the chord, which is the key. We're in the key of G, and B is the third, and D is the fifth. So there is an example of a brass quintet beginning. Thank you for watching this installment of the composition lesson, and stay tuned to educator.com.